Another predicament that began to plague the schools was the internet. Particularly what the kids were doing on the internet. The board, in response, began to block sites, but the kids found ways to bypass this. It continued on like this for a painfully long amount of time. Students finding proxies, teachers blocking them. It seemed perpetual for the time being. Inevitably, though, things changed. Good afternoon, students and teachers of Thomas Stone High School. We are the Board of Education. For various reasons, we have decided to remove the internet from your school. Thank you for your time. The change was not easy. But thankfully, the kids were able to adapt. <gasps> Even more thankfully, the Board of Education realized the complex yet paradoxically inarticulate vernacular the students chose to use and rewrote the textbooks in their favor. The kids were becoming stupid, however. They could no longer spell anything, nor add or subtract anything. They lacked in every field, and as such, the board made classes easier. The board wasn't sure how much money they were spending, but they didn't care, yet. Years went by, the board still shoveling money away. Amazingly, teachers noticed the problem before the board's financial advisors did. The board, somehow, felt threatened by these teachers, however, so they started issuing bizarre, inane guidelines for teachers to now go by to keep them in line. Salaries were lowered, layoffs were occurring everywhere. Teachers, whether no longer able to support themselves or fed up with the system, or most usually both, began to quit en masse. If the board could be saved back then, it can't be saved now. <laughs>